Hey guys, welcome back. This is HD StarCraft, and this is going to be Game 9. And it's going to be a 2v2, and I am going to be playing Terran again. So, uh, I know you guys might be wanting to see some more Zerg or Protoss, and I've been playing a lot more Terran recently simply because I suck with Terran, and I want to get better. Especially sucked with him in Brood War, my worst race. So I want to get a little bit better with them, but rest assured, there will be a lot more Protoss and Zerg games, especially Zerg, soon to come, as Zerg still remain my favorite race of all time, and of course my best race in Brood War. So this map is uh, Lost Temple, and you guys can see in the center of the map those two uh, uh, Zelnaga Towers. But uh, anyways, let's look at my teammate here. This is the blue Protoss, who's my teammate. So it's 12 o'clock, and my teammate is at 9 o'clock. This is the enemy Protoss base, purple Protoss, at 6 o'clock. And the enemy Terran base at 3 o'clock. So teal and purple are teamed up versus myself and blue. And it's a TP plus, uh, TP versus TP, excuse me. So the enemy Terran player gets his scout quickly inside my base. I'm going to actually, uh, I don't know what that was about. But uh, I am going to quickly set the scroll settings because I want to try to scroll during the replay while it's recording at the uh, slowest speed possible, or at, at least a speed that won't make you guys sick. And this is actually a bit too slow, so let me go ahead and up that a little bit. I'm going to see how 10% sounds. And yeah, that's much better. So I'm going to try to scroll uh, only while showing you guys the game so that you guys don't get any motion sickness from me clicking around. And we'll have the production tab open. And I'm going to show you guys uh, a first person view real quick. This is the first person function in StarCraft 2. You guys can see that the game shows where my, my screen was at. But unfortunately, this function doesn't show where my mouse was clicking. Uh, I, actually, it doesn't show where my mouse is at. As you guys can see, my mouse is moving as it is in replay right now. It does show mouse clicks, but those boxes are what I'm creating as you guys see right now. So we're going to go ahead and disable first person function so that we can still see uh, and get free roaming around the map. But uh, if Blizzard wants to implement a first, first person function, that's fine, but it's got to be able to show the mouse movements as well. And perhaps I'm missing something out, but uh, well, I'll do a little more research into it and see if there is indeed a uh, mouse function for first person view. Anyway, still inside um, my own view right now, not first person, but uh, fogged out version. So we can see that I'm scouting with my SCV and the enemy Protoss is getting double gates. My first Marine is out right now. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with it. <laughs> Sending it to go mine some minerals, I guess. And it looks like my teammate, the blue Protoss, is deciding to go for cannons. So this is a bit strange. In 2v2, typically you want to get some quick forces out because you want to quickly rush somebody and take them out Add and on. not play defensively okay. because right now, if, if both the enemy players were to rush me, my teammate would not be able to help me. He wouldn't have any forces to help me out with. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back to all view so we can actually see the enemy player's bases. Uh, but luckily for me, it looks like the enemy Terran isn't going to be going for a quick rush. He too is going to be walling up. Uh, and the only force I have to worry about is probably the purple Protoss. If he were to come in with all those zealots, I might be in trouble. Luckily, I do have a bunker. Command Center getting upgraded to Orbital Command. A little bit late here, actually. So I want to take this time to go ahead and say that uh, if you guys are, for the very first time, viewing my uh, this video, Please make sure to check out my channel for more, lots of StarCraft 2 beta videos. 
all in high definition of course 1080p and um, all of them commentated on so if you guys like what you see feel free to subscribe leave some comments rate the video I read all the comments even though uh, I don't reply to all of them perhaps I should uh, employ somebody to reply to comments specifically <laughs> And it looks like my teammate here is interested, uh, perhaps, in getting that gold expansion. We'll see. He really needs to get some more gateways, though. He can't just keep playing defensively. When you look at his counterpart enemy Protoss player, he's much more threatening with 10 Zealots than uh, the blue my teammate is with a couple cannons. A third barracks, it seems like, going up here for... Um, the enemy Protoss, uh, enemy Terran player. And you guys see the Kronos boost actually being put on the barracks. The Kronos boost coming from uh, his teammate's Nexus. So great teamwork there, right? A actually putting the Kronos boost on the racks so that the Marines come out 50% faster. Pretty cool uh, feature that you can actually put the Kronos boost on team, team units. And uh, there's the Kronos boost right there. And if you guys were wondering how uh, how come there's music in the replay when um, I said before that there isn't any music in replay, I've actually just overlaid the music soundtrack for whatever race I'm playing. So in this case, it would be Terran. And I've just overlaid the music soundtrack over the replay so it doesn't sound dry the entire time. Let me know if you guys uh, prefer that. And so it looks like um, my my teammate here has decided to basically tech up in his base straight to Void Race. Uh, and, you know, it, it's a bit risky, but it can pay off if he gets his area out quickly. And one of his gateways actually transforming into a warp gate there. I do want to clarify something about the warp gate. Last time I said that it would continually refresh the units after you summon or uh, as, as long as it's there, that's not the case. Each warp gate can summon a max of one unit, so if you've got two warp gates, it would show a number two in the bottom right-hand corner. But essentially, they can only summon once. And I'm not quite sure what my teammate is doing here, putting cannons to... Uh, destroy the rocks there for his expansion I suppose but meanwhile while he's spending money on cannons he's getting rushed by zealots and reeds here uh, he is using the guardian shield uh, on his units right now from the sentry that'll help reduce the damage from the marines but I've got to go and back him up if uh, if I want my teammate to live so I'm coming with my marines and marauders he's got a couple cannons on the ramp but that is just a lot of zealots and reeds does have his first void ray out but the Void Ray is not very effective against infantry units. In fact, Marines are the perfect counter against Void Rays. And here we go, my Marines and Marauders trying to get in and help my teammate uh, before he loses too much of his buildings.